Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my first how-to video. Uh, my uh, YouTube channel is Scott Yoda, and uh, my name is Scott, and I have a daily vlog uh, that I do on YouTube all the time, and I, I uh, just got this MacBook Pro 13-inch, and I'm upgrading the memory, and just thought I would do a little how-to video on how to change out this memory. So uh, this is a 13-inch MacBook Pro 2011, 2.3 uh, GHz dual-core processor i5, and uh, it also has 4 gigs of memory, and I'm upgrading it to 8 gigs of memory. So what you'll need is just obviously the memory, which um, if you go to Apple, this thing right here costs uh, $400 um, for this amount of memory. Um, I went on Amazon, found the same thing for like 30 bucks. So it uh, does the exact same thing, uh, really no difference other than the fact that it, one is, man or one is uh, uh, sold by Apple and the other one is sold by uh, Kingston directly. So the first thing that we're going to do, on the back of the MacBook Pro, you have um, 10 little screws. And uh, all you need to do is unscrew those. So do that right now. You want to make sure and touch something metal to kind of get rid of that static electricity. Um, it is a 1.4 millimeter screwdriver, very, very small screwdriver for these, uh, this Phillips head for these, for these screws. Uh, I got this set at Radio Shack, it costs like 10 bucks, um, or I'm sure you'd probably find one online for a lot cheaper. So what we do is go ahead and unscrew those 10 screws, and uh, we'll just do that real quick here. As you can see, we have uh, all the screws taken out, so the next step is to just take the, uh, the back covering off, and if you just kind of uh, kind of put your fingers in underneath here where the uh, the back of the laptop is, you just kind of pull on that and it comes right off. So underneath here, we have you know the uh, the motherboard fan, the uh, hard drive, and then you have your battery right here. So you just pull apart on those two little tabs right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's two little tabs right there, and you just pull apart. And then you just pull the memory out, and we'll just set that aside for now. And then there's another set of tabs, and you just pull them apart, and the second one pops right out. All right. So those are my four gigs of RAM. So we're going to grab the new RAM here. We're just going to put it in, just like we took it out. Once it gets sl slid in there, you just pop it down. Like so. Grab the other one. Hopefully you all can see this pretty well. So I wanted you to kind of see this close up. So you have your two little tabs here on either side and you just pull those apart uh, with, with both your fingers and then that will just pop up. So let's go ahead and put our other uh, two gigs, or I'm sorry, four gigs here in so we just kind of pop it in like that once it's in there kind of snug just push it down and it should just pop right in like so it's that simple all right so once we have all of that put together put in there go ahead and put your cover back on and hope and pray that uh, the memory was the right one and that it worked. I'll leave in the description the exact kind for this model. We're going to go ahead and put all the screws back in. Alright, so I got all those screws put back in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start it up and hope for the best. Hope that it all worked out. But while we're waiting for it to start up, let me go ahead and tell you. The, uh, the RAM that I used for this is an 8 gigabyte PC3. Uh, it is 1333 megahertz and uh, it is a 204 pin. Okay, let's see if it took it here. About this Mac. 8 gigabytes, 130, oh, 1333 megahertz DDR3. Like I said, it's 204 pin. Uh, this is Kingston. This brand is Kingston. And uh, I'll leave a, a link to it in the description so you can check it out. But um, so, yeah, that's how you install uh, memory in your MacBook Pro. Um, let's go ahead, uh, let's see what are some pretty uh, memory heavy applications here. So, uh, Photoshop, 
and uh, opens up really quick. Um, what about GarageBand? Let's see how how quick uh, GarageBand can open up. I, I don't think I've opened it up yet. This is my first time opening it, so pretty quick, pretty nice and quick. So yeah. So that's my tutorial on how to uh, install RAM in your 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, I don't think there's too much different between the models as far as like the, the 15 inch and the 17 inch. So um, that's uh, my little tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you'd like to check out my videos go to my, uh, my video page. I'll leave a uh, link in the description.